Can you say hi? Hello guys, welcome, Whoa! Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So sorry that we didn't upload last week. We've kind of been going through some things as a family. Um, last weekend it was just, well, this whole week, honestly, has been just crazy. Lots of bad news, but something that has been really hard and, uh, did you poop? Ew. Something that has been really hard for our family, our dog Milo, if you guys have been following me for a while, he's literally our baby. He had to get unexpected back surgery on Monday. So last week, you guys are seeing this Monday. So last Monday, he had to get unexpected back surgery. Long story short, actually, probably it's just gonna be a long story. On Saturday, um, he sleeps on our bed with us and on Saturday he woke up um, and normally he comes and says good morning to us, um, but he was just looking at me so scared and would not move at all. Like he was just staring at me, could not move, anything like that. So I helped him down off of the bed and he was walking so slow into the kitchen and then he stopped in like the most random spot in the kitchen and just laid down, which is like not like him at all. And then wouldn't come to me. Um, I tried to like give him treats and he would come for the treats but it would just be like really slow and he just was not himself so I knew something was wrong and I thought he was like sick and so I was just kind of like watching him and I called my husband and told him what was going on because um, then he was doing something for work and then so he came home and then once he came home Milo was on the couch and when he jumped down he like yelped really loud so I was like oh my gosh he's hurt he's not just like sick he's actually hurt and then so once he jumped down and he yelped he like did not move he like would not move he wouldn't take a step he didn't like go to the door or anything and so we're like what in the world is going on so i was like maybe his back is sore maybe like i don't know i just it didn't seem super serious because it was just like the first day that something seemed wrong with him so we were going to my parents that night and um, when we were in the car he likes to sit up on my shoulders so he was trying to get up on my shoulders um when we were in the car and he was like freaking out crying he started crying so loud and yelping so loud and then i was like freaking out i was like okay something's like really wrong and so we were already on my way on our way to my parents house so we went to my parents house and when we brought milo there and we set him down he could not walk at all like his back legs didn't work like he would try and walk and then his back legs would just like go limp they would just be like com they were just completely paralyzed he literally could not walk at all he would try and he would fall to the side and so we're like oh my gosh and so i had to stay with the baby and so my husband took him to the emergency vet and they couldn't really tell us much but they told us that we had to go see a neurologist and they said it could be something with his back on sunday we had to just take him outside hold him everywhere help him go pee help him go poop he could he still couldn't walk like it was even worse he still could not walk like he was just totally paralyzed and it was so sad and he was crying in pain and it was horrible. And then um, Sunday night, he had uncontrollable diarrhea. And so he would just poop whenever, wherever. And my husband just had to sleep on the floor with him in our living room. And we have a hardwood floor. So he slept on the carpet that's on the hardwood floor. And he just like comforted him because otherwise Milo was crying all night and just needed to be cuddled. So it has been a long weekend. So come Monday, we take him to a neurologist and then they said that he had a herniated disc in his back and which is also very, very, very common in dachshunds, um, wiener dogs. It's like bound for it to happen, but usually what I've read and what I've heard, it happens when they're older and Milo's only four, so we just like weren't expecting it to happen or for that to be the problem and so, they had to do surgery on him. Um, I'm filming this now on Thursday, so it's been about four days since he's been in the hospital. He had surgery on Monday. We were able to go visit him on Tuesday and we stayed with him for about 30 minutes and he has like a huge scar. His whole back is shaved. He was just not, he did not look good at all. But the doctor said that the surgery went well. We get to pick him up today. Yeah, we're really excited to have him home, but it's gonna be a long road to recovery. We basically have to teach him how to walk again. He has to go through physical therapy and yeah, 
they said it's gonna be like a six to eight week recovery so just really excited to have him home but that has kind of been why uh i haven't really been on social media i didn't post last week because we've kind of just been dealing with this um and other bad news with family but i just won't get into that it's just been quite the like week and weekend of just bad news so we're staying strong we're dealing it with it and um we're just excited to have our baby home and just to take care of him we just don't want him in the hospital not anymore so i'm about to go pick my husband up from work and then we are going to go get milo together and then he's going to stay home with us for the rest of the day so and just little chicken chunks is ready to have his brother home we just picked up a dog bed for Milo to go pick him up. Surprisingly, we didn't have a dog. Actually, we had a dog bed, but, but he chewed it up. So we got a dog bed, got the husband, got the baby, and we're gonna go get our other baby. We got our baby boy back. Milo. Hi. Yeah. So here is his, no, 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 don't itch. He said you can't itch. I'll do it for ya. So here are his stitches in his poor shaved back. We're gonna have to do lots of physical therapy at home. Basically teaching him how to use his back legs again because they stopped working. Completely paralyzed from the back legs. Yeah. So now we have to teach him how to use them again. But the doctor did say that he is getting so much better and um, he walked on his own for like a second out in the grass when they were doing his therapy at the vet but he gets his staples out in what two weeks but they said that he's just tender in this area but like where the disc was herniated it's a lot better and he doesn't have any pain there anymore but he's got a cool lineup and this guy He's happy to have his brother back. But we're on our way home in his new bed. Wow. Yay for a new bed. We're home now. Are you happy to be home, Papa? Are you happy to be home? Yeah. He slept the whole way home. He's so tired, but we went to go visit him and Oh my gosh, oh, this baby's farting that crazy. We went to go visit him on Tuesday. Today's Thursday and he is much happier and just like in better spirits now and doesn't seem so like out of it the gang's all here milo's getting some sun and he was just walking a little bit but kevin had to hold his back legs and kind of help him then he got jealous <laughs> eliano elianis hey hey bubby bubby <laughs> oh it's a good baby i done does this one <laughs> This one and this one and this one and this one and this one. It is now Sunday morning and I don't think we've vlogged since Thursday when we brought Milo home. We've kind of just been like so busy with trying to take care of him because it is hard. We have to basically teach him how to walk again. So it has been really hard, but excuse the space. We are just enjoying our Sunday. My baby was farting on me and now I feel like I smell like poop. Like I feel like he pooped on me. This is just where he's been and he has to take so much medicine like he takes like seven pills every eight hours but oh, he is sleeping he's recovering a lot better than we thought he would be he is starting to walk on his own he'll take like a few steps and then he'll just fall to the side um but he gets his stitches out in about two weeks but he's doing good we just have to carry him everywhere and um, with his physical therapy we have to do like these exercises with his legs and then we have a sling to put around like his back area um, to lift up his legs and help him walk. Come here baby. Good boy. That was good walking. He's getting so much better. Today is Monday and he's able to walk on his own. Um, we put him outside when he um, goes potty and he can go potty on his own. And we have stairs on our deck. And so normally he barks when he's done and then we just go get him. But when Kevin went to go get him, he was on the stairs. So um, he's not really supposed to walk upstairs, but it was only two little steps. So. He was able to do it by himself, but we're so proud of him. <laughs> He's getting so much better. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry it was kind of a short video, but I'm going to end it right here. 
Um, we just wanted to give you guys a little update on how he was doing and also um, just why we... Oh, baby's crying. <laughs> and just why we weren't um, able to post the video last week. We're just so happy that he's doing better. And yeah, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.